Hey everyone, welcome back to the Keep Watching Podcast, where we decide what to watch so you don't have to. I'm James. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be talking about Transit Love 3, Episode 20, the finale. Here we go. We made Sarah. it! <laughs> Sarah, how are you feeling? You feeling better? Oh, so much better. Sickness is gone. Listeners don't have to listen to my sniffles. Full disclosure, it's actually been a bit, bit of a while since we last recorded, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was pretty sure Sarah was better. But, <laughs> but now we know be, for sure. It'd be bad if you were still sick. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be point. real bad if I was still sick. Yeah, you were sick. I, things are getting busier for me. We got mm-hmm. we uh, my wife and I got our new house yesterday, so nice. we're in the moving process. So things are going to be getting busier. Yeah. So yeah, we'll try to keep it going here on the podcast. <laughs> Might have some <laughs> lengthier time between episodes, but we'll do what we can. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. Yeah, yeah. How you how you feeling? We're done. We're done. It. We've watched it all. We still have to talk about it, but we've watched it. I I am pumped to talk about it. You know, we we made it all the way through. Nice. I didn't get angry like I got angry last season, and yeah, I'm excited to talk about it. The final match, yeah, the final match wasn't like <laughs> annoying to watch. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I was yeah. like, okay, this, I like this match. Why not? The, the the way they ended the show. I, I will say, I feel like it was very long, even for, even though we only had to one, watch one episode, it was just like a very drawn out, the decision making process. And I definitely like towards oh, yeah. the end of it, like, I just wanted to know who they were picking. Like, <laughs> the, the, like all, all the talking in the car, I was very like, uh, mm. like zoning out, like hard, it was hard to focus on what they were saying, but it wasn't that important. For me, I was like, you don't need to show me a recap of all their times together on oh, the I show. Sure. Like, every... I already saw it. Thank you. <laughs> every flashback I 2 x through. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> and then certain people's uh, decisions needed to be 2 x through as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's some, some lengthy ones in there. But, yeah. I don't know. But then I messaged Sarah and I said, Sarah, do you want to do power rankings for most dateable to least dateable for the cast of Transit Love 2 <laughs> at the end of the podcast. <laughs> I asked you if you, you to do know that. I love power ranking. <laughs> we, we've talked about doing this before, but I feel like we didn't frame it in the dateable to least dateable, mm. which yeah, is, yeah. of course, a very objective list that we're going to be. And I do want to make it clear <laughs> that we are basing this on personality that has yeah. been shown on the show. Not It's not about hotness. Everybody's <laughs> hot on these shows all the time. <laughs> Yeah, there'd be different lists. And by uh, by objective, I mean, obviously, totally <laughs> subjective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we'll break it down. Sarah, I... <laughs> Sarah you wanted to match to our... tell me what your tier rank, like, what, what tiers What criteria were. I used? Yeah, no. Yeah, It'll be way yeah. more interesting to see what criteria we came up yeah, with. Yeah, so I, I came up with my own tiers. I named them. Yeah. I've got a whole thing. We'll see yeah. if we're anywhere I think near it'll each be, other. I think it'll be fun. I think we'll be closer to each other than some most people. <laughs> than we are to other Maybe. people. Maybe. We'll see. Might be some surprises in there. You don't know. Okay. Well, that'll be fun I to do Maybe surprise podcast. myself a little bit. I don't <laughs> okay. know. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can critique each other's tears based on how we yeah, describe them. Yeah. Okay. This will be good. <laughs> because we're only watching one episode. So, mm-hmm. and I know as much as we complain about the length of the TV show, I know everybody wants the podcast to be as long as possible. <laughs> so, we'll do a little bit of an extra exercise mm-hmm. at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I don't know to make up for. I feel like my predictions for this episode uh, did not exactly go the way that it actually went. So, I'll, yeah, I don't know. Power ranking things will make me feel better somehow. <laughs> there was one like. I would say really big surprise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess that's two, maybe depending on how. Yeah, what, depending, what, depending on what you were expecting, but there are yeah. definitely some things that went against our final predictions. Yeah. All right, comments from last time though. Yeah, let's uh, get it. We have a. I believe it's a new commenter. Mm-hmm. My apologies if I just don't remember, but Smitha on YouTube says you guys are the only ones who call out Juwan. Everyone else is praising him. Love you guys for that. Thank you, Jim Smith. <laughs> nice hard to believe that we're the true. only are we really the only ones is it i don't know you know like when we're you know behind on a show i can't like you know i post things and i use the hashtags but i can't like look at any of the stuff because it's yeah. gonna spoil 
right? So we generally usually don't know the vibe that everybody else has for the yeah. show. But... I mean, I wouldn't pay attention to that anyway, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting to know that nobody else is calling him out for. Yeah. Being the It'll be interesting guy to see is, where Ju Wan is in our power rankings at the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Smith, I stick around if you want more. <laughs> Some more good Juwan talk at the end, probably <laughs> at least from me. I think. Yeah, we'll see. I'm I'm keeping it a secret. We'll see. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll disappoint Smith. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And then we also got some pushback. We had a conversation. I believe I was trying to remember how the conversation went down. I think this is how it went down. I believe I brought up that Dong Jin's storyline. On the TV show was awfully similar to Gumin's storyline in season two. Yeah, and then, and then I think you... I said that he might be even <laughs> yeah. worse than Gumin. And then you took it a step further and was just like, maybe Dungeon's worse, actually. <laughs> I still and I stand think... by that. Might be true. I think we got some, yeah, we got some pushback on that, Sarah. <laughs> I can understand not wanting to feel that way about this situation. I don't want to feel that way about this situation. I think one of the things that was brought up. I want to say it was interregnum, but I, I forget right now. But I, I, th I think one of the things that brought up were I think the big thing is that I believe Gumin invited Heian on the show, and that really mm -hmm. should be the tiebreaker if there needs to be a tiebreaker. On, okay, okay. Whereas I, I still feel even after watching the finale, even though it didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go with with mm -hmm. Dongjin and Dahye, it still feels like something was different about the process with Dongjin and Dahe mm. in a way that like Interregnum might have said something like this too. Like Dahe like was probably almost like like scouted recruited to, recruited yeah. to be on the show. And I still think up until the end of the show, like the show very much wanted them to pick each other in the end. I mm, think that's yeah. what the show wanted. And even when even when they recorded the whole season and it didn't go that way they still wanted that to be like the narrative of the season. And they put in like as much effort as possible for everybody to like have the biggest emotions sent around Don Dong Jin and Dahye. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Which was, which it, I was honestly surprised. Ultimately they're, they're not actually not going to choose each other in the end, mm -hmm. but I, I think, yeah, the show is very committed to that narrative in a way that like, it feels like, I don't know. I feel like the show, even before they were cast to be on the show, the show had like an idea of what they were going to do with them on the TV show or something. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can see that. So, but it from like Dong Jin's perspective, though, it's like his ex girlfriend got casted to be on the show, and then I don't know what kind of incentive he got to be on the show to to complete it. I, mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't believe Dong Jin was like I. I was like his idea to come on the show. You know, right? So, yeah, yeah, definitely not. From the, I think from that standpoint below you, alone, you just have to say humans worse <laughs> because he was like, "Hey, and come mm. on the show," and then also I'm gonna like treat you poorly so that you don't love me anymore. <laughs> it's like I don't, mm, okay. I'm just gonna. I don't know that I'll ever forgive Dong Jin for just like being <laughs> shitty to Dahye in front of everybody that one time in a real just not okay. friendly way. Like mm, I don't know. Okay, you're sticking your bad. guns. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd set you up so you took it back, but no, no, no I'm not gonna crumble. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Can't wait to see where you put Dongjin in your power rankings now. <laughs> it still might be surprising. That one, it surprised me a little bit where he ended up. Really? Okay, this is gonna be. This is. There's so much anticipation <laughs> now <laughs> for the bottom oh, no, of the I'm power over, rankings. I've overhyped it. We'll see. <laughs> I don't think number one in the power rankings gonna be a surprise to anybody. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Yeah. To talk let's, about let's the finale. Dig into it. Three? Although, yes. what what happened in last episode? <laughs> what were we doing? I just wrote down um, Dong Jin opened his breakup package. That's all I wrote down from last yeah. time. Yeah. Well, they all went on. I guess they all they had finished their up all their their ex, ex dates. dates. Okay. They went on little secret dates, and then Yu Jung waffled for like. 40 minutes about who she was going oh yeah yujong got like out of nowhere seemed very all in on or she started like going out of her way to make Be more give in on Chong Chong Jin another Jin chance than... yeah but i don't know it was weird it was very weird we got that one right did I we think. get that one right that's not what i picked for uh, happening oh really okay i, I will we'll talk it about it the i end. don't know i, I think <laughs> oh yeah 
It has been a while. I kind of do forget what we predicted, I, but I think I remember. Um, all right. Where we are in the morning of the last day, the day of the final decision. Yes. We get a, like a highlight reel of people being sad about their exes and then having nice memories with new people. Oh, there is a bit where it starts up and it's just like the intro, but they have everybody like says something. Oh, but yeah. the the uh, subtitle, subtitle person decided that yeah. their names were the important thing to put in the subtitles and not any of the shit they were saying. So who knows what that was about? <laughs> they may not have realized they were talking because <laughs> they, they, they don't <laughs> forget if there was anything weird like that in season two. But yeah, they they decided to talk in the intro. It was time. probably all a bunch of vague stuff that wouldn't help you figure anything out. Yeah, anyway. I don't think so I don't, I don't, I don't think, think we missed, we missed anything. anything. Yeah. Before we get into like the you know people getting into cars and driving all over the place for these uh-huh. decisions, uh, we get a confessional from Sakun who tells us she has been suppressing her feelings the entire show, but now she's yes. ready to start not doing that. Yeah, we're right at the end, gonna start being honest about things. Okay, interesting choice, Sokun. Yeah, because we de- we picked Sokun to pick Quante. Yep. And that was definitely the narrative going in. But I guess this confessional is supposed to explain her decision, which is going to I guess. be picked you on. <laughs> so I think also part of us thinking she would pick Quante was hopeful in that we just didn't want you on to get what he wanted. And, and it so? was all part of a bigger thing. I think, oh, I just think that contributed to. I mean, she was our, like, our I'd pick, rather maybe. date Quante than Juwan on like the last day of the show. Like she said that in the truth game, I think. So yeah, but then she also cried whenever she said Juwan's name. You know, there was a lot of back and forth with her too. I guess so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, generally, yeah, the vibe we thought was Quante. Yeah. Oh, I did note in the flashbacks that they did show Yu Jung crying back in Seoul. I think I don't remember what it was, but we were talking about mm. how like Yu Jung cried recently, and we thought it was like the first time of the show. Oh yeah. I don't remember what it she was must crying have been... about back in Seoul. Probably something with oh, Chung- it might it have been, been with Chung- when Chung Jin was up all night with Dahe talking. Like she got real upset then. Maybe yeah, she got upset that I didn't remember her crying. I remember her getting like angry, but maybe she cried. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, okay. Everybody cries in the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <It's> official. <laughs> all right, we're starting with the car process. Yeah. Right, Quante and Jong Un get in the car. Yeah, she's driving, and she gets a text that your ex will leave to confess his feelings to someone. And I think that's it. No. You can try to convince him. Or yeah, I think that's anything. very important. That's a very important note. I noticed that every time, except for when Dongjin's gonna Dongjin's gonna get a text that like, "Your ex is going to talk to somebody else. You have the car ride to convince her. Just so you know, mm-hmm. like you could you could do some last minute things here, Dongjin, and do what we want on the, for the TV show." <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, Jongun is driving. Quante around and then she uh, abandons him in the woods. Yeah, there's not a lot of discussion that happens here. <laughs> They're done with each other more or less, you know, like she I wants don't... him to be happy. But it's not malicious. It's just, that, you know, they they resolve things. Now, something I think is new for season three is like at each of these like stops that they choose for these decisions, they put like the same bench, the same yeah. looking bench with like this bus stop looking sign, which I guess is like partially the logo of the TV show mm-hmm. or something. But I don't remember them doing that in season two. Like it was just like yeah, I did not remember that either. Piers, like mm-hmm. picturesque like, places, people standing on the edge of the ocean and stuff. <laughs> this poor boy gets dropped off at a, a fake bus station in the middle of the woods. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think he's there most of the day. It is and they made it morning like when they arrive. Like it hours. is night by the time we see him again. It's yeah. a little weird. Yeah. Um, and then I wrote my notes when when she was driving away. I was like, "Is this show actually going to make Jong Un confess to someone?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> apparently yes." Like a Jong Un has to still mm-hmm. go through the process of going to a different bench. Next to like a yes. field with a different bus stop sign, and sitting on that bench so that <laughs> Juwan can drive by and not get out of the car. <laughs> it is. Was this necessary? So awkward. <laughs> Was this necessary? TV no, show? because like they have him pull up. They're like, some he gets a text of like somebody's waiting to confess her feelings to you. They weren't even allowed he to call each up. other. He wasn't allowed well, to switch. I don't think he was allowed to switch. 
I guess he was. Like, well, it says you can get out, I guess. It does say, like, go to the place and respond to the confession. So, like, sure. But they, um, they didn't show a phone call, did they? They did show a phone call. Oh, they did she gets a, a text okay, giving okay, her his fair. phone number. And I think the text was something like, call him this instant and confess your feelings. It just felt really intense. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, they did call each other because I wrote down they were, like, literally five feet away because it's, like, yeah. she was on the side of the road and he was, like, right up against the side of the road. He didn't even have to get out of the car. He could have rolled down his window to just talk to her. But, no, yeah. <laughs> they insisted on the phone call. And, like, I think last season when it was, like, a one-sided thing, they had them, like, meet in a cafe, have a little chat, and then one of them would awkwardly leave to drive somewhere else instead of they've, like, really – just double down on all the the phone calls and deciding to get out of the car is the decision for everything every single pairing yeah or did it just work out this season that like logistically it was possible i'd like i'd have to like really think about it but because there were some people waiting in cafes and not benches but they still called them yeah you're right yeah they still called them but like last season um was it jisoo i think she did her human confession in a cafe that they like were just sitting there together or something yeah and she picked someone who didn't also didn't pick her so they didn't have yeah, to yeah, go yeah. that way yeah like she picked someone that was not her ex and then that person right. also didn't mm-hmm. pick her so yeah they could have done it the same way just a little different That's but odd, you know, yeah now it's consistent between everything just a little silly to be five feet away and not able to roll down your window yeah that, that was the goofiest phone call i've, <laughs> I've seen so far because they were so close together <laughs> All right, and then uh, all right, that's that's done. Yeah, he Jong-un's made done. his decision to drive away and and not oh, yeah, pick. Yeah, he drove uh, away. Of course, Jong-un. okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Song Jong goes to meet. What's his name? I forgot his entire name at this point in my notes. Min Hyun. Min yeah. Hyun. There we go. <laughs> Min Hyun. There we go. Yeah, and um, uh, they choose each other, which is we can not move on. Right? I two X through this whole thing, so I, I couldn't tell you what else. Oh happened. no 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 no! <laughs> there is an extremely important thing I must talk about. They played soccer or something, which we never saw, which could have been. Yeah, fun to sure, watch. whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, but after they picked each other, they had little confessionals about how they feel about this. And this man said it felt like he found his lost dog. Like, he loves what the his fuck? Dog. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Break up with this man <laughs> immediately. <laughs> she is not a partner to him. She is a possession that he is comparing to a dog. I got <laughs> so angry and just mashed on my keyboard for a while after this. No, okay. thank you. I mean, some I people do treat like dogs man. like people, though. No, no. Some you do not treat- compare <laughs> your long lost love to finding your dog. It's just, no, unacceptable. No. Okay. <laughs> to me, it's like it depends who says it, but like if, you, if I, no, if no, I compared you to no a dog, way. that's not good. Cause no, no. Neither, I have even no people strong who feelings like, about dogs. But. Love their dogs like kids. If their partner and they were separated <laughs> for a time and they came back and they said, oh, it's like I found my dog again. No. Okay. No, Maybe there's right. a weird ownership involved <laughs> in that. And like, a, oh, she was silly and ran away, but now she figured it out and came back bullshit to it. Oh, no, yeah. no, I do. I cannot stand this man. Yeah, you're probably right. All right. See where he is oh, yeah. in power rankings. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be surprising to anyone. <laughs> the extreme ends of my All power right. ranking. <laughs> All right, so we wrapped up them. All right, Dahye. Mm-hmm. Dahye tells us before we even get in the car, she tells us a confessional that she plans on breaking up with Dong Jun for good. But I, yes. I guess like my interpretation of that, because I still was assuming that they would be picking each other, was that like, oh, she thinks that he's picking K1, so she's like kind of trying to Is make that it how seem. You... That's that's what I thought, but I, that's I just thought they were still picking each other ultimately. So mm. I thought she was gonna like figure out in the middle of it all. It was just weird. Like, this uh, is what happens. Basically, she tells us she plans on breaking up with him, and then she does. Yeah. But that's, like, a very weird TV edit, <laughs> right? To, to well, be like, like even here's what's going to happen con- before it happens, <laughs> and then it happens. Well, even in her confessional, she says that she thinks that Dong Jin and Haewon make a better couple. And, like, she talks about, like, how she's grown during this, like, whole show, and she, she like, has learned how to just wish for his happiness. And so that's why she's she's gonna yeah. sacrifice what she wants and break up with him for good. 
that all makes sense. But you show it after she gets out of the car. <laughs> it was just weird that they showed it before. I don't know. Well, there is like some time in the car where like when they finally get to like it was the her, double fake out. Like to... they they made me think that for sure yeah. she's staying in the car because they already showed me that they already told me she was getting out. But then she actually yeah. gets out. But it does almost feel like she spends a extra time in the car just in case he wants to tell her not to go. Like Yeah, I think if I think if she had the feeling or he she he gave her the impression that he wanted to pick her over mm-hmm. gay one, then she would have stayed in the car. So I think there's like an yeah. element here of like, oh, he's not gonna pick me, so I'll not pick him mm. first. I think there's a bit of that here. Okay. Um, which is fine. <laughs> uh okay. yeah, like but they're in the car and, and he's just crying for a long time. Like it really does look like last minute they're gonna pick each other. Yeah. Um it made a lot of sense for some, the narrative the show was giving us. They say some nice shit to each other. He apologizes for being a dick. So, you know, that's nice. Yeah. And this is what the text says to him. It says, Yeah, your ex is gonna go confess her feelings to someone else. And then it says, You can try to change her mind while driving her to the location. Yeah. As far as we were told, Dongjin is the only person that gets this text. <laughs> um, uh, that as is that far true? as I noticed, I think that no, uh, Hui Hyun and Haewon gets. There's a similar text there, I think. Well, Haewon didn't. Drive. Oh no, his is. Oh, Hui Hyun got the text. Someone wants to no, confess Hui-Hun. to your ex. Tell your ex about how you feel as you drive there. Okay, so it's similar but different. Okay. Oh, uh, it actually said that. Okay. 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 Um, okay, yeah. So yeah, Dongjin is the one showing more emotion. But Dahe tells us in the confessional she was like determined not to cry to make it easier on yeah. Dongjin, I guess, was what how what mm-hmm. she tells us. Um I wonder if like then I'm I'm gonna get stuck on this text now for a little while because that tells us who she like her decision. Does the fact that they say you can try to change her mind mean that he did pick her at first? And then that's like a great, that's a great while question. in the car. We decided are... not to like pursue her because she has said she's picked someone else via this text or whatever. Or is it production just really hoping they get together? It, I, I, we are robbed in this finale of Dong Jin actually making a decision. Yes. Right? Because of the process. Uh, other than like he doesn't that. tell her to leave the car. Yeah. Like in theory, he could say some shit in this moment to like get them back together. Yeah, potentially. And then they show they show a little bit of uh, where are they now after this? And we can talk about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, too. yeah. Okay. So I kind of think he he did pick her here. It's just no, like, the right people weren't informed. You know, like, Dahe doesn't know about this text and the wording of it and that that might imply that he picked her. And just, I don't know, there's there's You like, actually think that, you think like Dong Jin told production, I'm picking, I'm I'm. It's pick possible. Dahe. Because like, I have to go back to last season to see like, because I remember people getting this. You can change their mind text last season. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was people who picked the person they were driving. Mm. I love this theory. I don't know if it's true, but I love it. <laughs> well, because like Jung driving Quante just got your ex will leave to confess his feelings to someone. Nothing about tell him about how you feel or you can try to change his mind if you want yeah, to. Because the show knows she's not picking him anyway. Right, so there is like, is it a show angle or is it based on what they've picked? Yeah. A little bit of both. I don't know. I think it's it possible like, that he did actually pick her. Yeah, it could also be like he picked Gaywan, but in confessional he was like, "It's fifty one forty nine." Yeah, and yeah. then they were like, "Oh, we'll give him this text to, to make it <laughs> to make his decision harder, <laughs> to let him know that he can change his mind right. if he wants to." Yeah, yeah, it's hard to say. Also, though, I noticed. I don't know what this means in terms of this um, conspiracy theory, but is Dongjin speeding to the destination? I swear this man is driving so fast. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> I did not notice there was like, that. There was a point where I, I, I swear the GPS or something was like telling him what the speed limit was as if he was uh-huh. like, maybe you should slow down. <laughs> and there were like okay. multiple times that like the car was like beeping while they were driving and I don't mm. know why it was beeping at him. <laughs> And it just okay. looked like he was driving fast if you just looked at like the windows. So, and he's like crying and speeding at the same time. Yeah, yeah. That's what it seemed like. I, I don't know. So maybe he just, 
I guess that kind of points to maybe he just wants to get this over with because he knows he's not picking her. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. You know, the the last stretch of white knuckling his way through. So fast. I felt like. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and then Chung Jin is waiting for Da Ye when they get there. Oh, yeah. What's okay, great is that they are in the car parked in front of this poor man for a while while they are crying at each other. Oh yeah, that's standard for this that's show. That's standard I guess. for the yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the, I wonder what like the record is like. Who it, it had to have been Ye, uh Hayun and Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. Human, right? That's probably the yeah, a hundred percent. At least yeah. between these two seasons that we've seen. Yeah. Um, when they roll up and Dahe actually has to like choose to get out of the car. Now she's really feeling it. She kind of suppressed her tears until now, but she's feeling it mm-hmm. now. Will she leave the car? I'm definitely rooting for her to get out of the car. I don't know about you, but even even though I thought she was going to stay in the car, I was rooting for her to get out of the car. At this point, um. Yeah, I I don't know. Even though like I'm not happy about the way he treated her, I just wanted her to be happy, you know. <laughs> and she is happy. I now. knew Come that on. you know Chungjin wasn't gonna pick her, and I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't have mind if they picked each other and worked things. She's out. choosing nobody, Sarah. I know you love I it. Know. How can I you... know I love it, <laughs> but she, I I also just you know yeah it, from the very beginning I thought these two were very cute together, and it's a little hard to let go of. That's all. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, they both tell us in confessional that, that they think the other person isn't over them. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I think they're both right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dongjin even says in confessional, like, I wanted to turn the car around, like, with Dahe still in it, right? Like, that's what he meant. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was happening. I thought what the show was telling me was going to happen was about to happen. Mm-hmm. But then, um, yeah, she gets I mean, out of the I- car. But she did, I, I she can't like, be mad about it. Go ahead. She she like lingers in the car in a way that like I it really felt to me like she was trying to figure out. Wait, is Dongjin actually picking Hye Won? Like he's so yeah. why is he so emotional right now? Like should I not get out of the car? But then mm-hmm. I don't know what ultimately happened for her to decide to leave the car. I think they sort of t- they talk about it because she's like okay um, like are you you're never going to change your mind right like even though you cried the whole way here and he doesn't really say anything and then she's like okay i'm gonna get out of the car then and he says let's do this and at first i thought that meant let's let's go let's be together let's ride off into the sunset but um i think it meant let's let's finish this um Mm. because then they just kind of like she asks if they're gonna both gonna be okay and he's like we're gonna be fine it's just scary but we'll we'll be fine we'll be fine individually separately <laughs> yeah yeah and okay. that's when she finally gets out so like as much as she she made she talked a big talk of um breaking up with him today it's happening it was also if at any moment he had been like no we should be together she would have stayed that's uh that's how i felt yeah um yeah she gets out of the car let's go yep it's happening <laughs> at this and point though was when poor... i realized we were going to be robbed of the dungeon decision mm, which I yeah did. Yeah. I mean, in a way, we're, this is him making a decision, right? This is him going, no, we'll be okay. We can get kind through this. Of, but you know, like, he could have yeah. right now been like, nope, let's let's be together. And he didn't. So that was a decision he made. Yeah. I guess I just would have liked it. Like, because they could have had, like, Heyun, no, sorry, Heywon drive Huihun somewhere and kick him out of the car. And then she'd be waiting for... <laughs> <laughs> she'd be waiting for Dongjin to for Dahe to ride up with Dongjin and then Dongjin is like deciding right they could have done that right mm-hmm. although I I think like Sokyun does, doesn't have a driver's license or something or maybe, oh. or like can't drive so I think they actually are limited logistically because of how That's they do true. the show if like somebody can't drive then they have to be driven um, but also um, if Dahe started the day going I'm not picking him like she put in her pick for Chongjin so she can't be the one to drive. I guess she could be the one to drive him to go make a decision because yeah, with, that's what with, happened with with, with uh, Juwon and 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 Sokyun. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Huihen would be wait or Heiwan would be waiting outside the car. Yeah, with Dahe driving. Um, yeah, it just feels like they could have done differently. I don't know if it would have been yeah. better or not, but I feel like we were. I, I guess either way, you're ro- like we would have been robbed of Dahe's decision. I guess, but I feel like Dongjin's decision well, is way more juicy. But I think he did make it. I think he ultimately did. You can did say make that, it. but it would it be it would have been a juicier situation for him to be like, get would out of the car, don't get out of the car. It's on you, Dungeon. Like Dahye can say whatever she wants, but you have to physically be the decider. I mean, 
she lingered along enough in the car that he did have to be the decider. All right, you're satisfied. I'm not totally satisfied, but it's all okay. Right. It's all right. All right, all right. I think it could have been better. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, like I'm not mad at it. They they made the adult decision of you know like we don't work together. Let's end it despite you know everything and and move on. So you know, from the beginning with them, I've been. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. It just I thought they were cute. The TV just... show had been better. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, just in general, like from the beginning, I've been all about them being adults and except for Dong Jin being weird for a while. Um, you know, at the end we get two adult decisions, so huzzah, I guess. All right. Uh Dong Jin just cry also cries when he drives away. Yep. That's a, yep, that's yep, a yep. lot. He like really ugly cried when he when he was, <laughs> when he drove away. Well, it was a different yeah, level he, of he, crying. The hosts yeah, are crying. Are, was... you, are you crying, Sarah? Of course I was crying. Okay. I was kidding? not even close. Do you even have to time. ask at this point? <laughs> not even close this time. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Um all right. Then she sits down with Chong Jin and they talk. Okay, here, here's what here we go. Chong yeah, Jin says bus stop. <laughs> at this yeah, at this fake bus stop. <laughs> Chong Jin says to Dahye that she, he remembers she told him that she joined the program entirely to quote cut off Dong Jin. Mm-hmm. As if like this was the plan from the beginning. Yeah, to I'm find just, closure and move on. Yeah. I guess oh, but it maybe other people have. It, it's just a little, like, I don't know. She was approached like, oh, you're, like, a pretty popular person. We heard you broke up recently. I think you'd be good on the show. And she's like, yeah, but I really just want to get over him. And they're like, yeah, totally. We'll make that the storyline on the TV show. Don't worry. <laughs> be, come on the show. You'll t- 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 it'll be a great opportunity to really mm-hmm. end your relationship. And then even production after this, like, acts as if like there's like there was like something on the bottom of the screen where like they decide to break up and i'm like they weren't back together what are you talking about tv show <laughs> like the tv show really made it seem like they came on the show as a couple and then decided to break up on the show mm. and they don't really do that narrative with anybody else so i don't know there was just a little something okay. extra that the production was putting into this these two I'm surprised that you're the more cynical one about this for once. Huh. Okay. It's just I was feeling. I, just I guess I'm just trying it. to like be like I don't know. It, it's just something weird about it that I it doesn't. I guess I'm just confused. Why? Why is this one? Why is this story in particular the one that's making everybody cry so much? I'm just like because they were together for so. Is long that is it just the length was, of time? Is that it's all? The it is? length of time. It's the way like they when they first got caught in they simultaneously were both like no i'll quit don't get rid of him and then they both got fired and they like you know gave up their dreams to a certain extent for each other and just the long difficult task of being in a secret relationship there's so many hooks here and i'm surprised just, that none of them get you <laughs> but in terms of like the the here and now and the like legitimacy of them participating in the tv show is like a little just like I, I think even like the fact that Dahe nobody really gave Dahe a chance mm. on this TV yeah. show means like I feel like everyone on the TV show like knew was aware of whatever Dahe's goal was on the TV show to some extent. Oh, I just thought none of them had taste. Uh, I it seems so odd. I don't know. I, mm. I do remember like going back to the beginning. Like Dahe was the most emotional about her ex in a way that was like, yeah, yeah, I didn't date her in the beginning because. And then, like, I think people because just got caught up on who they got caught up on during that time. And by the time she was ready to, like, come out of her shell a little bit, the only person left was Chong Jin. And he was way caught up on his ex. So, like, mm, okay, she kind of shot herself in the foot a little bit in that way. But, I mean, like, ultimately her goal was to, like, get closure, not necessarily find a new person. Yeah, I clearly. She succeeded I think in that. Yeah. yeah. But it's a little... In a... In a vacuum, if you, like, take away her fame or, like, mm-hmm. her popularity and all those other factors, like, you would rather have somebody that is still interested in their ex but is also willing to date other people on the TV show. And that was not what she was. Right. She was yeah. just, I'm here for a mission. Like, if you come on the show and your mission is to not really date anybody else and get over your ex, I feel like that's not the kind of person you would cast on this TV show. Right? Yeah, I think like production ideal. was definitely invested in them getting back together. Yeah, for sure. I think 100% that was their intent. But, like, 
that didn't match up with reality. So they, yeah, there's not so much they, they could like, do about yeah. it. I guess that's what it is. It's like, I, I, I just feel like I like my reality TV to be closer to reality. And there's like, there was something about this the whole time to me that just didn't seem real. Yeah, I don't know that we don't get the reality. I think it might have just been like, even in all the like interviews and casting ahead of time, she probably came in with the story of like, I'm just looking to get over him. But like all the emotions behind, you know, how she was feeling about him at the time and their story just being a little too juicy. I think that made production sort of overlook what she was saying, if she was saying it at the time, that she's just here to like get over him. And like that's on production if they did not listen to her I, I'm say not, what she was here I'm for. I'm not you saying know? her her and Dongjin didn't like their emotions weren't real. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying mm-hmm. Like, I don't think we were told from the beginning that her mission on the show was to get over Dong Jin. That just, like, came up right at the very end. Um, I think she she mentioned it somewhere, like, in the beginning, I thought. Hmm, okay. It didn't feel like that was the mission necessarily. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she was real sad. And, <laughs> like, no it was it one of those, like, like brain mission. versus heart things, you know, where she's like, we shouldn't be together, but I want to be back with him. Mm, I think okay. that's sort of what they've both been struggling with this whole time. Okay. All right. Yeah, again, the show tries to frame it like Dong Jin and Da Hei are deciding to break up right now. But they were never yeah. back together, TV show. You can't <laughs> fool me. <laughs> Chong Jin and Da Hei talk, and then they handshake, and they leave Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> and then she just sits on that bus stop for the rest of her life, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Life. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sok Yun is waiting for Ju Wan. And I was like, why is she waiting for him? But then, but then, but then she just gets in the car, and I was like, "Okay, this is normal." I thought, I thought something <laughs> crazy was like, I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, he's driving to Sokyun, so that means like he is picking Sokyun, and Yu Jong didn't pick him, so there's no reason for to have any. But like, why would the narrative be that? And then I was like, "Oh, she got in the car." Okay, okay, <laughs> this everything. Yeah, I don't know why right. she got picked up somewhere else. Like, I feel like plenty of people just left from. The, I guess because Juwan know, had to the house go. together. Juwon had to go to wherever Song Jung was, and then they were like, Sok Yun. Oh, that's them, right. That's go. why it I don't is. Know. Okay. They probably tried to save time or something. That makes sense. Yeah. But I was like really confused for a second. All right. Uh, yeah, he's taking her to see Quante. Yes, he gets the text that she, uh, someone wants to confess his feelings to her and just drive her to the address below. No convince her or anything. Hmm. Okay. Do you, do you have any do you do you know like the show is going to give us like this uh where are they now like 6 months after recording? Uh-huh. Did you look into like where they like are they dating at all? Um I didn't see anything. I saw what I saw was a lot of speculation of oh, look at this these group pictures of everybody together. Dongjin standing awfully close to Jahe. Like I I don't know if that Oh, that's, stuff like that. Okay. I didn't go super deep, but that's the kind of stuff. I was I about to speculate. Uh, is Dongjin and Dahye dating again? Is that possible? <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people on Twitter certainly seem to think so. <laughs> Dongjin and Dahye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? See that? That's where this uh, the, the there is evidence to suspect such things. I feel like based okay. on this finale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll get okay. We gotta wait till we get to the <laughs> six months later. Okay. <laughs> Juwan is getting choked up as they talk, blah, blah, blah. They arrive at Quante. It's dark out now. Qua- who knows how long Quante was sitting on that bench? <laughs> all day. That man was in the dark all day. Yeah. Qu- Quante calls Sokyun in the car. Sokyun does not realize it's Quante at first. <laughs> that was pretty good. She was like, yes, sir. And then. <laughs> but yeah, like Juwan had like not really like had his, like he was planning on having a big talk with her. But didn't want to do it on the way. Like, I guess he wanted to park and then talk and was expecting that. And so, like, the moment he starts to talk to her is when Quante calls her. And then he's just, like, sitting there pouting the whole time. Yeah, did the phone call actually interrupt, like, the amount of time they had to talk? Is that, like, hey, That's and, what it hey, seemed like. Hey, and Human last year was definitely, like, they talked for a long time, but also hey, Yeah, and but called. that was, production was like, wait, 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 these people have to talk. Okay. Like, this is what this show is about right now. <laughs> yeah. Juwan says he was very upset <laughs> when the phone call came. And they were probably like, like, he had put in his pick for Yu Jung, right? And so production's probably like, he's not trying to convince her of anything. Like, there's nothing we have to wait for here. Oh, there you go. See? Okay, we're we're putting all the puzzle pieces together here. <laughs> all right, here we go. We got you, TV show. 
<laughs> so as much as we do not like he do from last season, he uh-huh. did pull the move when his ex was on the phone to like get out of yeah. the car. And I feel like that's the move. Yeah, give her some privacy. Chong Jin is gonna say he thought about getting out of the car, but then decided to listen to the conversation anyway. <laughs> But I do, I, yeah. Well, this I think the situation is, is also good. awkward because, like, with with the Hedu situation, she was talking to somebody who was inside a cafe, whereas this car is right next to this weird bus stop in the middle of the woods. Oh yeah, I guess if you get it's out of like the car, it's like just Quante gonna hear things right anyway, there. right? Like, it's <laughs> you can walk down the all road too close. a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then this was not what we predicted, but she decides to stay in the car. I was a little surprised. Yeah, I was surprised. And okay. disappointed, honestly. Yo, Quante's story on this show is the saddest story. Oh, yeah. If you're going to definitely. cry about anything, it's Quante on this show. Like, this man. He just takes it in stride, though, you know? Like. Okay. So if, if Quante's makes it not easy sad, to not, not cry, then. Upset. Well, yeah, if he's not showing me that. I he's mean, I didn't cry sad, either, but like, if I'm, if, uh, like, you know, objectively, I think Quante's story on this show is the saddest story. It's like, nobody says I love you and then. <laughs> It seems like this girl's going to pick you in the end. And then she decides last second not to <laughs> because yeah, she realized sucks. I haven't been true to my feelings this whole time. Maybe I should on the last day. And then mm-hmm. she just doesn't pick you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. But, you know, if he had then, cried, I probably would have cried. Okay. There you go. All right. I guess that's how it works. And then the the one host I like on the show, the older guy, who I should probably learn the name of. Mm-hmm. He he he's like he ag- he agrees with me basically, and he's like, I think I'm about to cry about Quante. This is so sad. <laughs> and all the other well, hosts are like, Why? Quante it's just Quante for a long time. Has he? Oh yeah, yeah, he gets it. He's the one. Oh wait, no, he's the one maybe he was on Team Chung. Oh, for a while, I don't know. Well, for a while, like every guest that came on was like, Quante is my favorite. That's true. A lot show. of people have. But that was when, like, Quante was, like, not as his best, which is weird. (laughs) I liked him after, like, we learned more about him later on the show. Yeah, yeah. Or I was at least, like, neutral on him with, like, this man also has the saddest story on the show, so I feel bad for (laughs) him. And then, I don't know if this has ever happened before, Sakyun asks permission to get out of the car to give Quante things that she wrote in response to things that Quante wrote, right? Yeah, she like got him a card and wrote him a letter and It's totally unnecessary because they're definitely going to see each other later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it is definitely kind of silly, but I guess in that moment it feels like you don't know what's happening next. Is this I guess, the yeah. end of things, you know? We're going to find out that Song Jong and Min Hyung like just got on an early flight and left after they filmed the final scene. Yeah. <laughs> for personal reasons, that's what they say. Mhm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, she gets out of the car, gives him some stuff, and then it's like, okay, bye. It's right back in the car. That was a little weird. And then Juwon gets a text that's like, okay, now move to the spot where you're going to make your decision. Yeah. Every time Juwon gets a text, this this is like just like little shit that annoys me about Juwon. Like, every time he gets a text, she's like, oh, did you get a text? And he's like, nope. He's like, and then she's like, where are we going? He's like, I don't know. Like, yeah. what are we doing, bro? Like, just be like, he was yeah, trying I got a text. To like, yeah, they want me to go somewhere else. Like, <laughs> He the... wanted to spend a little bit more time in the car with her before he had to end things. He spent the same amount of time whether he lies or doesn't lie in that situation. There's no Well, no, if he time. says he didn't get the text to move on and he just, like, ignores it and sits there for a while, he can wait until oh, I don't think the he did that. text. That he was just like... like he was just like, oh, later he does ignore a text. But I think with these texts, he's just, like, not telling her... Mm. Just like keeping it a secret. I don't know. It's just like little weird things that you he does. Yeah, yeah, like, like, that's what? true. Why are we doing this? All right, because now yeah, he's gonna drive himself and Sakian to go see Yu Jung. Because we actually actually no, that's actually not what happens. <laughs> they don't go to see Yu Jung because he's gonna kick her out of the car. Oh yeah, that's but right. I... He's gonna like go to a place where he can wait for Yu Jung or something, and yeah, yeah. But we would only be going to see Yu Jung if. At least Yu Jung pick Juwon or Juwon pick Yu Jung, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't need to do it. Although, maybe that's. I'm just yeah. confused why they had. Like, why didn't they put Yu Jung somewhere? Because Yu Jung's oh, choice was I guess the they, big finale. They don't want to get. They don't want to have, like, him get out of the car and then Sokyun has to drive the car away. Oh, Sokyun can't drive. Maybe that's why it was weird. Maybe. Okay. That might make sense. 
also like he had it, to it see was just, I, we, I, three we, women today and we've so never like, seen the kick out of the car <laughs> for us as yeah and i think it might just be because Sokin can't drive that might and like be the, the text is literally like if you choose Stokyun, please leave with her. And if you don't, please get Stokyun out of the car. <laughs> like it's... Oof. Yeah. So yeah, he takes her. He takes just Stokyun to a bus stop. He gives mm-hmm. her this book that called it's called something to the effect of like hanging out with you is the most fun, something like that, right? Right. And like he and wrote a bunch of stuff. He wrote in a bunch it. of notes that are very much like love confession style things to say right am i going, mm-hmm. am i wrong about this no no i don't think you're wrong and then he kicks her out of the car is that that's the yeah, sequence I, of events that i watched <laughs> yeah I, he, he says something to her like don't you think you understood too late like basically if you she silly had, girl <laughs> he was like i think he says like the night of the barbecue or whatever he texted her and she didn't text him and it's like that was the final draw for him and yeah you like, fucked up Sokyun. you're missing out on all like, of this <laughs> it's another thing where it's like she didn't get to text a response to that like you made these choices independently at the same time <laughs> it's not like also you didn't like, text he, her that's for what he knows like how long. yeah exactly like it's so no he it's, sucks it's dumb yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the only the only thing i was gonna, i was thinking like did he also think he wasn't going to see her again? And she also like got out of the car to give Quante things. So maybe it was like less weird to give her the book. I don't know. Like, I don't know if he's not, is he, does he not give the book if she doesn't do that? I'm not sure, but. Um, well, he took all the time weird. to prepare the book. I think the book. Was he the brought plan. the book. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird. I, yeah, this guy. And me. I was so surprised. Cause I've been saying this entire, entire time that like, if she picked him, he, of course he's gonna abandon Yu Jung immediately and pick her. And it's a big part of the reason I thought he was a douchebag this whole time, and then he doesn't do it. So oh. I'm I'm left with oh, conflicting you that feelings. Made I mean, him I, a douchebag. I didn't care. Well, I mean, a, a a big part of that was like though you know everything he was saying to Yu Jung to reassure her that like this is the happiest he's ever been or whatever. When like we thought we knew mm, that yeah. he would leave her immediately if Sokyeon gate like gave him the bit of attention at all and then now that turns out to not be true like i still don't like him in a lot of ways but now i maybe feel kind of bad for completely slamming him all the time also though they could be dating now right (laughs) well i don't know about that i haven't seen anything about them i haven't seen that but like there's nothing stopping them after the end of the show that just like well like oh we both did it get what we wanted how about we just get back together yeah they have like yeah. a hug at the, <laughs> right, right, right at the end when they all meet back at the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, but something yeah. didn't look too too thrilled <laughs> about the situation. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. He kicks her out of the car, abandons her in the middle a of nowhere. Big bus stop. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh, this would be so sweet if Yu Jung doesn't pick him." Also. <laughs> <I was> <laughs> But then I was like, at the same time, I was like, I was like really worried that it was just going to be yeah. <laughs> them picking each mm-hmm. other. Yeah. Also, like, Sokyun didn't cry the whole time until they got to this empty bus stop. And then I think she realized that there was a chance she was going to get kicked out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts crying. I mean, I think oh, we man, were all was, surprised she got was kicked cruel. out of this car. It was so cruel, but also hilarious. <laughs> oh. All right. She just had to learn to drive, and I think she would have avoided that situation. I don't, I don't know. I think just how many people were interested in him and the whole configuration of it might have it might have been like this anyway. Maybe. But, oh, I, we just didn't see it last season. And I feel like they could have yeah. done it. Actually, I'd have to think about that. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like if you are going to like make someone leave someone at a bus stop, like at least give them the courtesy of making them get out of the car during the daylight hours. Like It was night. It was sketchy. Like. Nah, I know nah, it was safe get, or whatever, but it just makes it sadder. Vehicle, you need to get a special car with an ejector seat, passenger ejector oh. seat. And then, <laughs> now we're talking. Now you have to push the button that ejects yeah, them. push and, the button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you have to really want to not be with somebody to eject them mm-hmm. out of your car. Yeah. No, Make it's fine. The There'll be a little parachute. It's totally safe. You know, no worries. Yeah. yeah, he gets a text from production to be like, all right, it's time to make your decision. And then, and then she's like, She's like, oh, did you get a text from production? He's like, nope, didn't get any text. What are you talking about? And then he proceeds to like keep talking to her. 
And then I don't know how many minutes later, but production's like, so seriously, you need to make your pick now. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually needed two tags for production to tell him to make his decision. No. Okay. I think he really wasn't looking forward to kicking her out of that car. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. He was it was probably a tough choice for him. Yeah. Yeah. But it does feel like he made it already. I think he told production he was gonna pick Yu Jung, or he was at least leaning Yu Jung. Yeah. Because like even when he got the text to take her to Quante, it was just drive her there, not try to convince her otherwise. I think if he had picked her, it would be like confess your feelings or whatever you know like we we get elsewhere oh yeah i think that the the nuance of the texts that they get are more revealing yeah they didn't tell him yeah they didn't tell oh so he didn't get the text to like convince her because she was already picking him maybe oh well maybe that's true i guess so but also like he wasn't told to convince her because he also wasn't picking her i don't know yeah okay i like Things with more clear cut decisions where you know exactly who picked who without any extra knowledge of if they were going to get picked or not. Yeah. Also, I guess the hosts were just telling the truth the whole time. They were like, Juwan is definitely going to pick Yu Jung. And that's what happened. So maybe, pre- maybe yeah. like final predictions on the show are just at least these season, like every time the show was like, or like, yeah, like Dahe's like, yep, I'm breaking up with him. And then that's just what happened. And then the, sh- <laughs> the shows, a, the, the hosts tell us, yeah, he's definitely picking Yu Jung. And that's just what happened. Yeah. I thought it's for sure it'd be the other way. What is this TV show's double deke in me? What the hell? <laughs> All right. That's it, right? We're moving on. Yeah, now we've got Hui Hyun and Haewon. And, and we get Hye-won. told immediately that Hui Hyun's final choice is Haewon. No surprises there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he got to. Yeah, and so he gets us. Someone wants to confess his feelings for your ex. Tell your ex about how you feel as you drive her there. So very clear instructions based on his pick. Yeah. It doesn't, if that was like, if there was actually a difference between that text and Dong Jin's text, so that's really mad suspicious though. Right. Because it's like, mm-hmm. it feels yeah. like the show wants him to like express his emotions, but just so you know, like she can't change her pick. <laughs> don't act like you can change your mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. This is, I think this was the point in the show where I really started zoning out of anything that wasn't related to them actually making a decision. <laughs> We're okay. Like, I don't know. Two hours deep into the show at <laughs> this point. Mm. Well, I will tell you what he does. Okay. Okay. He he takes accountability for her having a hard time on the show, and so you know, there's some growth from him. Proud of that. Uh, but she's like, "No, I was the problem." I'm like, "Okay." Whatever. True. True. Uh- <laughs> I agree with that. I think she was more of the problem. Okay. And then he keeps telling her to just to do what feels right for her, but he doesn't really like express his own feelings here. Aside from saying that, like, whatever her decision, it'll hurt, but he'll get over it. I think he jokingly says that, you know, Dong Jin would get over it quicker than I would, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, he did it. Um, he said what he needed to say. That sounds right. Yeah, I just don't think, I think he would have, do- it would have been better for him to actually just be like, hey, very clear terms. Sorry for everything. Super back in love with you. Would love to get back together. I mean, that might like, not actually be true, though, but yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. But um, I don't know. I think he, you know, a little bit of nuance there might have maybe not made a difference, but probably would have been his, his better chance of getting a, a result. Maybe, you know, yeah, maybe, know. maybe didn't want it that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he cried a lot during their ex date. I don't know. That's true. I mean, she did too, though, so and she didn't pick him. But yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. So we get a great confessional from Dong Jin where he says that his feelings oh, really? for Haewon started with pity. Yeah. And then he was looking out for her like a younger sister, which we, we knew, but just to I hear mean, it again is something. He doubled down on that story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but his feelings grew in Jeju, so there we go. There you go. Okay. Yep. They do a phone call, and she gets out of the car. There you go, Interregnum. You made it. You got there. <laughs> I just wrote good luck to Hyewon and Dongjin. Again, not, I don't have any strong feelings about either of them. Really. Okay. Well, here's here is... Here's a thing that happens. Okay. Is that while they're here, you know, she's out there with Dong Jin. They're talking for a while. She seems like real into this thing, right? Dong Jin at some point says like, you know, I can see it, you know, within me and with you that we're both still have like feelings about our exes. So we should, you know, <laughs> take what? things <Dong> slow. <laughs> Does he say that? 
Yes, he does. Oh my god. Okay. And I'm we like, we are doing some I, wild I think, speculation at the end of this. I podcast. think this a hundred percent means he doesn't actually mean for them to date afterward. And when we get at the end of this, like updates on everyone, we get nothing on them. They like send them the next day on a what yacht. Are you talking about? And they look they at spend some six months on a fancy yacht together. No, they spend and one they day ate on a yacht together and leaned on each other. And then there's no further updates from them. So these people are not actually dating. <laughs> That's what I would assume, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think he intended anywhere really along this this whole route to actually date her. Okay. Which she specifically said, I think it was like last episode or the episode before that, where she was really looking for somebody to date afterwards, right? Like, I think their secret yeah. date. That they had. She said that. Or I thought he messed I thought he messed the whole thing up, right? Because she was like, I'm really looking for the future. And he was just like sort of like you know, not really mirroring that feeling. So I was I was totally surprised she actually picked him just because of that. And now I feel real bad for her because like he definitely they they're they're not dating, you know? That was my vibe as well. Exactly. Although well, I'm yeah. sure Interregnum has done more thorough research. Might be biased <laughs> research, but give us an yeah, update yeah, I mean, on what you think the status. Yeah, if, if y'all know something that I we didn't find or I didn't really work that hard to look it up, but you know. Because yeah. I feel like the, the show, show seems to indicate they're not dating. I feel like the TV shows, when they do these Where Are They Now, they are very mm-hmm. much incentivized to make it seem like the relationship is going as good as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't even lying. try with these without two. Lying. Yeah. And then if they're not telling you they're still together, that's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. They didn't tell mm-hmm. us they were broken up, but yeah. they told us the other couples were still together. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. in order to break up, they'd actually have to be really dating. And I. Oh, you don't even think they made it that far? You think they filmed like a fake date on a yacht and then. <laughs> no, no. I think they set them on a date on a yacht the next day. You know, because they're like, okay, now we need cute couple footage of you after you've picked each other. But did they have dates they like sent that them the home. Couples? They didn't, right? Yeah, yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I thought they, they showed did. more like like phone footage of them on real dates. Well, yeah, because they had like real shit to show of them. But did they also but... have like theatrical produced dates as well? Well, yeah, with Yu Jung and Chung Jin, they had a meal on a beach. Like they were being oh, cute on Oh, you're right, night. you're right, yeah, okay. okay. And then um, I think... Um, with Sung Jun and Min Hyung, they didn't get it because they just booked it out of there immediately. Oh, you think that you think like there's they, like they an extra day of fake day? Yeah, I think production. it's the okay. next day or whatever of, of filming, and those two just weren't uh, around for it. Oh, okay. That all adds up to me. I like this story, Sarah. So yeah, <laughs> you are you are on point today. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and and they're like even while they're driving away together into the night, there's a song that comes on, and she's like, "Let's sing it together," and like. He, they, they sing together and he specifically hums through the i love you part <laughs> like he's definitely Wait, what? Like, not there's there's oh, i man. love you lyrics and the man doesn't sing them he hums through them hmm. and it's you know hmm, i mean I fair, everything's new but oh, god you're all over this era. hell yeah i was zoned out yeah. at this point on that <laughs> on like, i was like all right decision's over let's move on <laughs> Well, you wow. know, my cynical heart where I never think anything's real. I gotta look out for these kinds of things. I mean, there, I, there's real stuff going on, but this was never one that I was that attached to. And it seems like mm. I was right to be like that. Okay, I like it. This is, <laughs> I like everything you're saying. Okay. I mean, I, I don't like it. I feel bad for her. I, but, I love it. You know. This is what I've been saying the whole time. <laughs> I was like, what is it that they have? Okay, all right. Um, Chang Jin picks up Yu Chang. And we're driving to Juwon. Yep. All right. This is the last decision, right? And like she gets yeah. in real quiet, and I'm like, "Ooh, is she gonna start with that attitude she loves to have immediately when she's around him, where she just seems annoyed that she's around him?" No, she's crying but right it, away, right? Well, yeah, yeah. So it didn't turn into that; it turned into crying. Yeah. Yeah, but that's different. Well, yeah, but what I mean, like the first shot of her, I was like, mm, "This could go either way," and it went crying okay. instead of her her sassy. I'm so annoyed to be with you. Face that she has. Did I miss, any, she's with did I miss any good talking on this? Because I um, <laughs> these last two whole processes, I was like, "All right, get me to the decision." I just have they arrive. I mean, she interrogate interrogates him a little bit. She's like, "Do you think I can be happy with you?" <laughs> yeah, which is like more of the same. That's why I was like, uh, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Get me, get me, get me through this. 
But, you know, unlike Hui Hyun, who was all like, you know, focus on your feelings, make your decision. I'll be sad, but it's okay. Chung Jin is like, I'm making the changes. Let's do this. I'm into you. You know, like he's being more proactive about it, which is something she has wanted from him. Okay. There so, you go. There you go. Again, yeah. I was, I've been saying, there you go. I said this last episode or two, I forget, but like if their issue is just like, we want, I want more feelings to be shared. That's mm-hmm. not that hard. I don't think yeah. that that's, not, that's that hard. Yeah, he he like really gets into a full like confession of his feelings during this drive. So like there you go. Let's go. Eleventh hour, the boy is putting in the work. Let's go. And then they get to Juwan, and Yujang tells us she didn't even think Juwan was going to be there because she thought Juwan was for sure picking Sokin, as did we all, except for the host of yeah. the TV show. <laughs> yes, she said specifically be like due to the truth or dare game. Like, yeah, which, I'll say. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> all right. And then Juwan calls Yujung. They have a phone call. Changjin thinks about getting out of the car. And he's like, nah, I want to eavesdrop on this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get out of the car. Because he, he, Juwan was in like a cafe. So he, there would have been like a. Yeah, yeah. There would have been room for him to be away from people. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. And then she stays in the car, Sarah. Let's go. Yeah, she does. Um, And it's funny. Like, I guess. I think the hosts at some point have called him slow, but like the amount of time it takes for his brain to process that she actually chose yeah, him is kind of funny. <laughs> there was like no evidence pointing to her picking oh, him. Oh yeah, absolutely. Until she woke him up in the middle of the night last night and he was like half asleep and confused last night. And then like maybe I maybe just like didn't give his hopes up and he was like still like he he tells us he was dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> that she picked him is like you know like, i think we all were <laughs> and like i get it i think i think we can say it's fair for chung to feel dumbfounded in this moment absolutely yeah. yeah i think he like just doesn't know what to do with himself and like he he's like wait should i go say goodbye to you <laughs> and it's like no bro this is not the time <laughs> <laughs> at, at the very end she's like well if you drive away right now that just finalizes my final decision and then he just like starts the car <laughs> starts driving away yeah 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 good luck to these two you know what this is like what we this is the third we get three couples right this is my favorite couple of the se- as much as i've complained about you yeah. the whole season i think this is my favorite couple i'm it's almost i don't have any fundamental problems with this, this couple i mean like yeah I, there's like i've not been a fan of her them. like double standards between what applies to her or what applies to him but like yeah that seemed to be like in the context of the show. I don't know that that would go to their normal relationship. I don't know. Maybe she was just punishing him for their breakup. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what like Chongjin got through all of that and still liked her, but all- clearly he, he does. And then she picked yeah. him. And I don't think their I- their like history, their issues that they've had in the past are like not fixable. I think they're very fixable. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah. Good luck yeah. to them. I think they will work out. The show t- makes it seem like they're still together after six months. They show us uh, videos of like them going on dates. Chongjin is like very um, different in his dates with Yujong that we see than he was. He's in being the show. cute with her. Super He's cute. Shouting his love for her off of a bridge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like... super cute stuff. So you know, um, there you go. They're eating food that she likes, which apparently she complained about once on the show. You know, there you go. There you go. Yeah. They talk about overcoming the hard times together instead of alone. Mm -hmm. They can do this. Yeah. They even talk about like, so we picked each other. Does that mean we're back together? (laughs) (laughs) And it felt like they were like, yeah, we're back together. And then Mm -hmm. immediately, as soon as they had that conversation, they were like immediately cute with each other the rest of the time. Yeah. Like, Like. they got back to the house and they she like he like pulled his arm on her shoulder and yeah they were like instantly coupley back to as if mm-hmm. they were never broken up before <laughs> yeah. and apparently they have a perfect height difference Sarah apparently I think that's according to Chongjin yeah oh yeah we, we were know. upset when Chongjin compared her to an armrest is that what he did is he, that worse or better that? than a dog. <laughs> Well, like, okay, what was the context of that? He's just, like, talking about her height difference. He was like, I feel like I got my armrest back. (laughs) That is not what he said, and you know I think it was that. Hold on. It was not. Wait, was it? Okay, fine. We're going deep. 
we're going deep and then you have to tell me what's first <laughs> armchair and dog if that's true i'm gonna hope it, like it's probably just like a silly <laughs> joke between them about their height difference yeah, whereas like anything, but there's no <laughs> way like the exact that same sentence just with min young and no 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 there there is totally different when you compare someone to no, a dog just the sentence itself is the exact same yeah but i think it is referencing like a thing between them where he like you know in because of her height difference is like oh yeah i'm gonna rest my arm on you it is not no one has been insulted by being called an armrest before like there's not a weird ownership or like Mm. no no it's not the same at all yeah no it is not the same (laughs) i just want to get the exact phrasing (laughs) chong jin's fine min hyung is awful i got you i got you i got you give me a second i know where it is here we go all right puts his arm around her shoulder we're doing it i felt like i got my arm rest back (laughs) that's the line that is not what, like what is the context what are you talking that is ridiculous. he literally said that now, they cut to him in confessional after putting his arm around her and the first thing he says is i feel like i got my arm rest back that, he says something about like i remember putting, it's just like the memory of being able to put my arm around her it's like that's all he's talking about i don't have yeah, a problem that, with it i'm just saying it's a very similar totally sentence totally <laughs> different from the shit that min young said yeah i, I agree but would you rather be a dog or an armrest? I'd rather be an armrest. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. Listeners, tell us if you'd rather be a dog or an armrest. <laughs> dog or an armrest. That's it. We'll leave it up to the listeners. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, not a big Yu Junk fan, but I love this ending of the show. Yeah. Just because it goes along with what I've been saying for, for a few episodes. <laughs> Way better than the season two ending. The Nayeon Hidu ending was like, puke get me out of here oh, it get me out of here as soon as the possible. worst also like the final final decision that show of, of season two was like nayan picking between hidu and gubin which like what it's like yeah i guess i was really enjoy good, any of that rooting for her to pick gubin but <laughs> wasn't yeah wasn't gonna be thrilled with it either way <laughs> where there was there was some stakes here and we got like mm-hmm. there was a good and an evil and good one <laughs> <laughs> That might be a little too dramatic, but maybe a little too dramatic, but yeah, yeah. closer to that than it was last year. <laughs> All right, there's some stuff. They get back to the house, everybody but Song Jun and Min Hyung. Ju mm-hmm. and Saki and hug. So, you know, I mean, they could get back together if they wanted to. Yeah. Kwate says, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing to say when you don't get the person. Yeah. But also, yeah, so- yeah I mean, the per- Song Jun didn't. Didn't get chosen. It's not over until it's over. Sakin yeah, still has. Sakin is still in the love triangle now. <laughs> <laughs> not even after the show is over. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And then we get where are they now? And you're right. They do skip Song Jun and Min Hyung. I didn't even notice that. At least like having oh, no. a thing. Oh, no, they, they, they show them. Uh, they show them. where are they now? There. But they don't. They don't show them as a date. Like on a, a date yeah, on Yeah, but it JGO. says at the bottom of the screen, Song Jun and Min Hyung, uh, they are still dating six months after the show. Or yes, yes. To some degree, yeah. Yeah, okay. They're still together. We get a confessional question to Song Jun of, are you confident you won't fight anymore? And she's like, nope. <laughs> but I guess they're making yeah, but, it work. And Min Hyung says something like, it's not a fight if we do it all the time. <laughs> something, that something is that not accurate. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> to each his own. I don't want to be in that relationship, but good for them. <laughs> Take them off the playing board. No one else has to worry about yeah. them anymore. Guess that's true. All right. <laughs> yeah, and then after that is when we get the Dongjin and Haewon on the boat looking at dolphins with no further updates. But they're having such a good time, Sarah. They have one nice date on a boat <laughs> looking at some dolphins. And then that's it. Okay. Yeah, I, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> they don't say anything because then we go to Changjin and Yujong, and they're like on the beach, and they show them kiss, mm-hmm. and it says on the bottom of this, my screen. Now they proactively show affection to each other. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Tells us they're still dating. Yep. They found this like they have this go to spot in Seoul, I think, where they always take a selfie together. Oh yeah, they're back. One of those pictures they were kissing. We've gotten a lot of. I've never Mm -hmm. seen so much imagery of kissing on a Korean dating (laughs) show before. Yeah, that's true. And I do think they seem like a good match. Yeah, 
there are, are a lot of people that get together on these shows and i'm just like eh like they could work out but i don't really see it as like oh yeah these could be these two people for sure mm-hmm. long-term relationship but i see this one and it looks like it's going good they look very happy together very yeah. satisfying ending i would say even for somebody yeah. i wasn't rooting for because <laughs> <laughs> they weren't as bad <laughs> as people in the past even though i complained about them all season <laughs> yeah yeah exactly and then uh and then there's a nice montage of uh just like hey the cast is hanging out here hanging out there they show yep, some yep. yeah all nice stuff what a yep pretty i wish we would have gotten dong Jin's official choice that's the my only <laughs> real gripe. With yeah, the he chose choice. to not actually date Haywon. I, I would have, I would have rather it. seen it the other way around. Because uh, <laughs> mm. then, then if Dong Jin decided to stay in the car, then Haywon uh-huh. could pretend like she didn't pick Dong Jin and then just go pick William. Also, which I would have been for. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, we get so we get three couples and one that's probably not together, and the other two are exes. So we think. Yeah. We think it's we didn't six get any months new couples. later. We think we just have two of the exes are back together. Maybe Dong Jin and Dahe are back together. I would not be surprised if that was the case because it almost seems like they both. It almost seems like they both wanted to pick each other, but they didn't want to pick each other first. So the so they didn't mm. pick each other. They and maybe the after other. watching it, they will they understand how yeah. each other feels a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Good season, right? Still very yeah, long. Yeah. I wish the show wasn't so long. Yeah, I agree. But, Very long. But in but terms better of, than last season. In terms of the stories, what we got. Uh yeah. yeah. So much better than season two of the show. So much better than <laughs> um Singles Inferno three. So much better than Singles Inferno three. So Sadly true, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> still not better than Love Catcher Bali. Love Catcher Bali is still number one for me. <laughs> We still we haven't done like a power rankings of all these shows that we've watched. True. It'd probably be tough. What, what, what would this stack up again? What's like, uh, mm. like eh, this is probably better than like Singles Inferno one. I would say if we went back and watched that, I feel like Singles Inferno okay. one maybe not wouldn't uh would not have aged well. Okay. It's probably um, it's probably in the about... mix with the Heart Signal seasons that I watched. Yeah, I was gonna say, what about that last season of Heart Signal we watched? Where 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 is it? Oh, is it better than that? Oh, that's definitely more satisfying. I would say. Is it? Well, I, yeah, I'm more satisfied because by that, this ending. That's that's because production did some shenanigans on Heart Signal. You know, like yeah, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't like what seem, they did. Yeah, the that's the production fault that messed it um, up. Um, yeah, so if I'm just looking at the story and how it was told, I would say yeah, this is better was better than Heart Signal four. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. But the length of the episodes always is, <laughs> is definitely a negative about this show. Yeah, yeah. For me, they they, they could trim it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Do we want to do our power rankings of the cast? We've never done this before. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm calling it most dateable to least dateable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, however you want to look at it. Also, I want to the other cast. We're doing personalities, right? Yeah, yeah. The other we're thing not is talking about looks. I am absolutely for sure rating them based on how they were represented as a character on the TV show. It does not yes. necessarily equate to who they actually are as a person. Right. In fact, I, I the, the, in the most recent season of Survivor, like the there was this character who like made it to the final four and then got eliminated at the final four. And oftentimes that character is like presented as like, oh, they would have won. If they had just made it to the final three, they would have won the show. Okay. But this character was presented as like, like all her main moments in the show were like, she wasn't picked for the Applebee's reward and she got like really upset about it. <laughs> and like, okay. Like, and she has all these weird allergies. And I don't know, like her story on the show was like not very much about her, like, oh, she, everybody thinks she's a threat to win the game. But then at the very end of the game, Everybody was just like, oh, yeah, she's a threat to win the game. <laughs> and I was like, what are they talking about? And, but then, like, the people after the show, like, the winner of the show said, like, oh, yeah, she was a threat to win the game. So, th- like, sometimes the show will just not show your, like, true self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if yeah, they don't feel like it's a good story. Subject you know? to the whims of so, the edit. That's yeah. just a, an example of what I'm saying when I say I'm judging them based on the character they were presented as. Mm-hmm. on the on the tv yes. show so 
if I'm critical, if I like somebody, it's because they were, it might just be because of how they were represented the show. And if I don't like somebody, that might just be because of how they're represented the show. <laughs> doesn't, yep. doesn't mean anything. But it's still worth talking about. Yep, absolutely. Because we're still saying, like, who's, who's behavior? All right. You want to hear my first tier? Are you going to? There's just yeah, one person in my first gonna... tier. <laughs> You're going to explain the tier and then everybody yeah. who's in it? And, Let's go to best to worst. We'll I think best to worst okay. is more fun. Okay. What I only have one person your... in my first tier, which is... What's unlike... your top tier? This is the top tier. Most dateable. Yeah. My top tier is I liked them the whole time and they were never terrible. Okay. There's only one person who fits in that tier. I can't imagine who it is. Yeah. Okay. We... <laughs> Dahye. If we made nice. a ranking of every person on a korean dating show that we've ever watched i think Dahe might be She's number one top tier across all of them absolutely yeah my top tier is called put a ring on it and yes Dahe is <laughs> okay. the only person in this tier <laughs> i wouldn't go that far i think she might have i still there's still some element of i think she might have just got like a really friendly edit but no 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 no, no. she has proven she can handle a long-term relationship yeah. and not treat her partner like shit in public and she's also and a lot of it may be the k-pop training but you know i don't care she's kind and sweet and caring yeah. she's there also go. very good at saying the right thing in confessionals like after the stressful yeah, moments that's true but that might just mean she's very good at saying the right thing to calm a situation down with her partner or whatever you know maybe yeah who knows okay <laughs> All right, what's the name of your second tier since you have some wacky names? <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Long Term Relationship. Oh, okay. All right. That's very You see the very theme specific. I'm going with here? Yeah. I okay. do see what you're going with. I think there might be a little too too strong of words. But <laughs> my yeah, second tier yeah. was I, I my second tier description is just I was neutral or better on them and they were never really terrible. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of Wait, my... how many how many tiers you got? I got five. Okay, okay, I got five too. Okay. okay, I got four people in these tiers. Uh, I have a, I do have an order to them, but I feel like I might switch them up now that I'm thinking about it. But okay, yeah, I, I how many people you have? In, people. Wait, do you have five? I have, also? I have five tiers, and okay. I have two people in long term relationships. Oh, you only have two. Okay, I have four in this level. All right, so okay, so okay. so who are your two? Uh, Quante and Sokyun. Oh, you have Sokyun up here. I okay, I was Sokyun. I think Sokyun is the hardest person to place. Yeah. I think, well, okay, so, like, you're always going to have fun dates with her. And I think when it comes down to it, like, she's somebody that you could, like, work through things with. Like, that reasonable discussion she had with Juwon during the last couple days of the show, I think, is what you're going to get from her when you haven't already soured things by calling her a gaslighting bitch or whatever Juwon said. You know, like, I think that is more at the core of Sokyun, that reasonable sort of we can talk through things person. And so that mm. is why she is in this yeah. tier. Yeah. I was also thinking about like I so my third my third tier I I just said were like the mid people mm -hmm. who I was like mostly neutral on them and they were like sometimes terrible. So <laughs> okay, I, so okay. I put Sokyun in that level, but like I was debating putting her in tier two. So like she's like mid to high, like anywhere from like mid to high for Sokyun. Mm -hmm. I would I I like I can see that argument. Yeah, I was also thinking about like. Her terrible moment is when she told Juwon who to text, right? That was, like, yeah. the terrible moment. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of, like, they had some arguing where, like, neither of them were wanting to take any sort of responsibility for their, like, break, their part in the breakup. Yeah. You know, like, there was some a little, it felt a little unreasonable, but I also think that was just, like, a high stress thing that they were arguing about. Like, yeah. There was, there was a lot of baggage with it already. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, Any anywhere in that kind of, like, Top half to mid area. Yeah, it seems about right. I, I, I'm i not upset about that, yeah. So I had three other people in my tier two, though, which were... Oh, wait, wait, I want to talk about Quante real quick before oh, okay, okay. we move over. Like, I think, um, like, I don't have any complaints about him, right? Like, any of the weirdness that was on the show was because of the situation of, like, dating multiple girls at once or whatever, and it was just, you know, being on a show, I think if you met him authentically, like, he's just gonna... Focus in on who he likes. Be sweet. Like, clearly gonna tell you he loves you pretty soon <laughs> and a lot. Yeah, so I think... I don't know. Yeah. I got no complaints about I, Quante. I think the complaints about Quante go back to the beginning of the show where mm -hmm. he definitely had, like, some kind of, like, bold strategy where, like... I, I think somebody mentioned, like, he just... After he went on a date with Yu Jong, he, like 
I don't know if it was a joke or if it was like a strategy or what it was, but he kind of just like pretended like they were already dating or talked to her like they were already dating or something. Yeah. But then yeah. at the same time, he was also like not giving up with the other people, with the other girls that he had also been dating on the show so far. So I don't know. But like at what level that was supposed to be playful. Yeah. yeah. I think that's just not a real life scenario that you're going to face if you're like yeah. dating this guy, right? Like if you're in the not quite you know exclusive zone yet like you're not gonna see him dating the other girls like you know and once it settles down to things then i think it's fine yeah i mean it says something it, you could say it like it says something about his personality if like that's how he chose to behave but I, I, again i don't i also have him in my like second tier mm-hmm. and i like yeah i would categorize it like it's not really that terrible what he did like i it, it is has been a while like maybe if i go back and watch it it would feel like a little more ick yeah. yeah, since it since it's not fresh in my mind, but um, yeah. the The other three people I had in tier two were Jong Un, but we mm-hmm. didn't get to see a lot of her. But yeah, yeah, exactly. You, if you wanted to be like, oh, she's in the mid tier or whatever, because we just didn't get yeah, to see that's anything, where that's I fine. Her. But she, I, I don't know, she seemed pretty good from what I saw. Now she might just never say "I love you," but if you're cool with that, yeah, I think that's why I put her in my <laughs> next tier. Is because, I think I could like, do with that. She's not right. very expressive wait. and like, like if this is a tier ranking of what I think is dateable, like I require a certain expressiveness. Yeah. That's and what it so should be, yeah. for me, she's not there. Yeah. So that's why she's in my, I think I could deal with, next I think tier. I could deal with not hearing the words. I love you. I don't think that would hurt me as long as I was having a good time, you know? Well, I think it wasn't just that she didn't say it to him. It's also that she didn't feel it, right? Like, well, yeah, she did it. Yeah. She also didn't love him. You know, you don't want her to say if she doesn't feel it, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'd give it a go with Jong Un. Why not? Okay, okay. I guess the only reason they were in a relationship was because of Quante, right? So, like, I don't know mm. if I'd go out of my way to try to get Jong Un to date me, so that it might just never happen. But if for some reason yeah. it ended up happening, you know, I, I, I feel like it would be a Solid person to date. <laughs> okay, okay. I also throw a Kui Hyun in here. Okay. Just because I really liked how he was able to just like talk to Ye Won and they were to get o- get over the stuff. And like I, it's mostly just because I I made this tier like no one that was really terrible, and I just really don't feel like yeah. Kui Hyun in my eyes was ever really that terrible. He may have like maybe he could have like thought about stuff more and mm-hmm. maybe yeah. not hurt k ones feelings a few times but mm-hmm. i also think there's like some leeway where like how is he supposed to really know you know okay. and then they talked and it was fine it wasn't like it led to like a huge thing so yeah yeah i like we he is young but you know i'm kind of like projecting like you know give him a few more years this man's gonna be solid let him cook yeah yeah okay. and then chongjin i had chongjin okay. at the bottom of this tier but i after watching this actually i might have him higher after seeing the Mm. Yeah, this is, okay. I, I don't know what Yujong was complaining about. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Everything I've seen is that Chongjin is great. <laughs> all those, <laughs> he seemed like a great boyfriend, and all, and now that they're back together, you know, any knocks against Chongjin potentially that you might have, that might just be gone because he might be sharing his emotions all the That's time true. now. Chongjin That's might true. just be great. Chongjin might be Dahe level now. Ooh. To be honest, maybe I should have Chongjin second on my list. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna. Oh, Move him yeah. up to second behind Dahe, but you still in what? second tier. I think you've convinced me to move him up into my second tier, my long term. Let's go, long term. Yes. Because I did All have right, him in yeah. the next tier just because of that lack of expressiveness. But, you know, no. in that, that it's thing, end of the, the, end of the season he's... rankings. End of yeah, the season yeah. Rankings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He, he, moves, he moves up. He's now in long term. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready for mid tier? Okay, tier this three. is my fun fling tier. Oh, interesting. Okay. You know, a couple dates, see how it goes for a little while, but it's not going to last. Okay. Okay, mine is just mostly neutral on them with some terribleness. <laughs> but okay, let's hear this. Let's hear this. I tier. like to add a little flavor to my tier list. Okay, I think they're <laughs> all too str- I think if I were to actually like say like, would I date these people? There's going to be a lot of people in the no, I would not pile. <laughs> Okay, my okay. more is like judging their personnel uh, yeah but i for in terms of like dateable rankings your categories are definitely more uh <laughs> like the right labels <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> yeah okay for uh my first fun fling person is hey 
if she's not moping over her ex, you're going to have a good time with her on dates. You know, okay. she's going to laugh at everything you say. How many people you have in this in this tier? I got three. Okay, me too. Yeah. Like I said, Chung Jin just graduated up out of Fun Fling, so. That's oh, so only two now? Okay. No, no, there's three, three total. Three now. left. Yeah. Okay, okay. She might overreact to things, but like they, she could talk through things and, and deal with issues, which is good. But like she's down in Fun Fling territory because I, I personally do not like feel a spark like with her. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I think. Do, yeah, that's how I feel, too. There's a, uh, there, there's nothing, there's, she's missing a certain je ne sais quoi that would put her up in long-term relationship yeah. for me. So she's that's very why she's, mid she's living me. here in fun very, playing. She's very mid to me, yeah. Next is Hui Hyun. And this is solely because he's too young and I am no longer in my teaching young guys about the world era, you know? That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree with everything you said about like talking things through, but just like I cannot be bothered. It's too it's too late for me. <laughs> gotcha. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, because I basically am like I'm like kind of projecting on Hui Hyun a little bit to put him in tier two. But yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay. We're pretty close so far. Here we go. Yeah. And then I got uh Jong in just because like she seems nice. Oh shit. I okay. don't know a lot about her. <laughs> yeah. And I just Okay. But but like <laughs> <laughs> There's a name missing from this tier. <laughs> wait, wait, who is who have no, I missed? Oh, we'll get to it. Don't worry. Who have I missed? Okay. <laughs> You've named everybody so far in my list except for one. <laughs> so Okay, okay, okay. Can't wait to see what you hear what you call the next tier. <laughs> <laughs> it's but um spicy. Okay. Yeah, like I, I think I said before, like I need a certain expressiveness that is not Jong un's strong suit, so we're, we're it's just not gonna last between us so fun fling territory okay so you got mid-tier uh i had sakin down here but like i said before you could i, I could see her being higher i have k1 here for kind of the same reasons you described and then i've also have dongjin okay in okay tier three uh i think everybody else you named i had them higher or the same yeah yeah uh but dongjin is kind of in the same category as k1 to me where it's like they seem fine mm-hmm some terribleness at times on the show. He once terribleness was like the clearly picking the wrong person for uh Hui Hyun for the like the oh, exes yeah, the dates. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And then Dong Jin, yeah, you wasn't great with Dahe, which is probably why you're gonna have him lower. But yep. they're kind of the same where I like I watched an entire TV show where I could like learn about their personality and I just like wouldn't be confident about like what it would be like to date them. <laughs> <laughs> after mm, watching yeah, the show yeah. so i just kind of like default put him in the mid tier but clearly i don't have as much hate for dungeon as about you're about to have so what is <laughs> what is the your fourth tier and is dungeon in that tier the next tier is called one date they get one date. one date okay one day is dungeon and yes dungeon is tier? in this tier with two other people like you just like one one chance you'd give them one chance like i or... could see like getting through one date and it being fun or whatever but like given what i know about them i i would not enter into anything longer with them oh, just well, because i have why are you even having one knowledge i shouldn't if you've already, if you've already because decided. i think they're like a person the, the people in this are like people you could have a good time with for a night but like mm. just other like, shit i, I know about Dong them Jin is like TV show yeah hmm? you could just like what, what? you could just be like yeah i went on a date with dong jim it's like a well, story. not for that reason, but I mean, like, <laughs> just, you know, sometimes you go out on wow. one date with a person to get to know them a little bit or whatever. But, like, just there are things that I've seen in this show that are characteristics that I would not want in a person that I dated more than once, okay. you know? Okay. So, like, for him, it's the way he was addicted to Dahe in front of everybody. Like, he got his feelings hurt and lashed out at her in a very petty way. And that is not something I'm about with anybody I'm going to go on multiple dates with. Mm, like okay. no red flag for me and my fourth tier is just didn't like them for most of the show and they were terrible at times so <laughs> okay, uh, okay but yeah you so in general i'd say like your tier list is like you're way more willing to each tier is like you'd be more willing to date them than my tier list is kind of describing mm. yeah yeah probably so this at my point in the list i've gotten down to Yu jung and ju one which are the two people that I've been complaining about the most all season <laughs> and I've seen too much. I've seen too much. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I would count me out. Yeah. I actually have both of them in my one day category. 
Yeah. Because I don't you know, know why. I, I don't know why. I don't get this of a one fun date category, but okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, but like you know, Yu Jung and her her double standards that she was applying to Chung Jin the whole way, like just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't like if that kind of manifested again. That's that's not something I'm willing to deal with. And like Juwon. I, I I don't know. Still feel like you, you just can't trust him, even though in the end he did actually stick with Yu Jung. I don't know. It just doesn't. It just felt like there's a lot of lying that that boy did. Yeah, it's really for both of them though. It's like okay, if you were in a relationship with them, I I, I mean, with Juwan, you could put him in the same category as Dong Jin because like we saw how he treated his ex, kind of thing. Yeah. Also that. Yes. <laughs> Yu Jung though, she was not like, kind to her ex for a lot of yeah, the show. She was very critical. It didn't get to the point. Like, he never was like, I, I, I guess, I guess, did, did she imply that he was kind of like dumb? I don't, I guess, I remember like Dahye kind of saying that as like a joke, but um, I, I want to say like Yu Jung, like, maybe. if you are in good with Yu Jung, she's probably fine to date. But her double standards, like, I, I really can just like, I, it's hard to be attracted to somebody who like is not self aware. Yeah, that yeah. They, that are, they'll have this very obvious double standard that they mm-hmm, are mm-hmm. living off of. So it's really this lack of self awareness that both these two have. Mm, yeah, yeah. Like I would have found Juwan much more entertaining or like respect him a little more if he was like, "I'm on this TV show. I have these two girls that are interested in me. I don't want to have to choose till the end. So I'm gonna like do what it takes to make them both feel." Mm. But like I feel like he was not aware, or at least we didn't get to be told that he was aware that like he was like leading them both on or i don't mm-hmm. know like well we thought the whole time he was just gonna pick sokyun which is yeah. which is, isn't what happened which is kind of kind of weird against whatever it everything is we were weird the whole time i don't know they're in my it might have <laughs> like I, it might have been true until like the barbecue like he said like i don't know either mm-hmm. way i just yeah i just don't feel like i can trust him so it's yeah okay all right so the, your tier five for this tier <laughs> Oh, wait, so we did your your tier four was just Yu Jung yeah, and Juwon. We're, we're down to the last same two people. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. The, name, the name of my last what? tier is Get Off My TV Show. Oh, mine is No Thank You. <laughs> okay, I, I if there was a No Thank You category, there'd be a lot of people in my No Thank You category. <laughs> if this is a okay. really uh, dateable, you know, I'm trying to give people the benefit of the doubt a lot. You know. Okay. <laughs> I thought Get Off My TV Show is better. Because, like, I, I actually, like, I don't have a problem with Yu Jung and Juwon. I think they were good TV characters. Like, for what, okay. the, as far as, like, what the show's good for, like, if Yu Jung and Juwon are going to be the two worst people, well, besides the, the Get Off My TV Show people, but in terms of the people that were actually part of the story of the show, if, if like, Yu Jung and Juwon are going to be, like, quote unquote, the most terrible people on the show, like, that's a pretty mm-hmm. solid season. Like, no one's really that bad, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. So I called it like get up. Like, like Song John and Min Min, whatever his name was. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. second we watched of them since he sh- showed up was a waste of my time, and that is why I tuned yeah, through not good. all of it. <laughs> uh, I so, suffered yeah. through all of it. <laughs> Just get uh, yeah, get off yeah. my TV show. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah. So yeah, we were actually like incredibly close. I don't think any one person was more than a tear off so yeah that makes a lot of sense we're mostly on the same page yeah this exercise won't uh trigger anybody if they actually listen to it i'm sure <laughs> of course not people can send us their own power rankings if, or do your yes, own power rankings send do. it to us you can use my fun categories or make your own whatever <laughs> let us know yeah make your own i think it's more fun when you make your own I it, it helps my categories like are real good <laughs> You're kind of, I, I don't like them just because, like, if I really stick to the definition of them, I'm, like... I'm dating too many people. Yeah, you're dating. You're going on way too many dates. You're going on way too many dates. And a lot of them are, gotta, like, long-term. Sometimes... I don't know if you have enough lifespan left to do all the dates you have. <laughs> sometimes you got to wade through a lot of fish to get to Dahe. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, people send it, you can do your own power rankings with your own categories. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be fun to read people's categories of how they categorize people. That's, <laughs> true. that's the glimpse yeah. into how people's brains actually thought about it. <laughs> the naming of the categories. The you didn't name your categories. I did. I mean, I was just thinking oh, yeah, about like, yeah. I was just thinking about like, in general, did I like them, like their behavior and did they really do anything terrible? Was kind of, mm-hmm. 
yeah i didn't have like good like dating terms as the name <laughs> but it showed my thought process at least a little yeah bit. yeah all right that was fun how long has this podcast been so far oh not even yeah. two hours yet we are not even this is gonna be uh well, you know, yeah. we got one episode, and it was pretty straightforward on people picking people much, and driving places in cars. This episode's going to be much, much shorter than the average episode of Treads It Loves. I feel like that's what happens with finale episodes, you know? There's yeah. not a, a lot of details of the show to go over, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say about Treads It Love 3, Sarah, before we talk about what is next? Um, You know, I think I, think I said it. I said all, right. all the things. Okay. What's next? Next time. We had a lot of, over the last month or so, probably, we've probably had, we've mm-hmm. had people give suggestions. Yep, yep. But Sarah pointed out that there's a special month coming up starting, oh, today at this hour. <laughs> the month. The <laughs> yeah, month we were recording real late at night. Yes. It's Pride Month in America, y'all. <laughs> Pride Month. Yeah. Which would uh, line up well with one content that somebody suggested which is his man season two yeah which sounds like it's heart signal but with all guys yeah yeah i think it's like the first queer dating korean dating yeah. show season one was yeah the first well yeah first is that what it says i i think that's what you read earlier oh, well, yeah i assume there's not a like all women's version of this show that came first or even at all that I've, we've heard of at least yeah, um, I don't know. So yeah, I haven't it's got to be the first one then, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's probably going to be a lot of like heart signal is what I assume. Although it did. Uh, yeah. Wait, in the description, it mentioned something about like there might be mind games, but I don't know if that's like. It was right? unclear if, if that's a production planted like, mind game or if like these guys are being sneaky or something. It's yeah. Like, this is. We'll find I'm not out. sure what that meant. Yeah. Also, yeah. I, I, th- I feel like you're very interested to see like. Assuming there's like a host panel on this show, yeah. How the host talks about I the, sure the hope guys it's, it's relationships. nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll see what that's like. It could be, it could be interesting. Yeah, could be interesting in a good watch... way, and it could be interesting in a bad way. Oh, I hope it's not. I hope it's not a bad way. I think it'll be good. I'm gonna believe it be it's good, gonna yeah. be good. So yeah, we're gonna watch an episode or two of that. If it's not good, I think for Sarah our... will let you know. She will let you yeah. know why it's not. I will good. let you know it's not good, and then we will all. Be sad together. So do you want to do? You want to check out the first two episodes? I think they're only maybe an hour. Each. Yeah, I think it's... I got real excited when I saw it was only an yeah. hour long. At so least the maybe... first episode. So yeah. So we want to do two episodes. Yeah, let's do two episodes. If so, if if the person that suggested his man season two has any further thinks... instructions on yeah, what I don't know. Like if good. there's a certain <laughs> amount of episodes that are good to get a sense of the show, if they have a better suggestion than the first two episodes, let us know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Future plans, though. Mm-hmm. There's a show coming out on June 18th that Sarah found. This was not a suggestion, but it does look very interesting. It's, it's called... on Netflix, so it should Netflix. be easy to see. It's on Netflix called, it's called Agents of Mystery. Uh, it ties in great with Transit Love because it has the host of Transit Love that I like. His it's name one, we still haven't learned. I still don't know his name. <laughs> <It's one> of, <laughs> I will if we watch Agents of Mystery. I will learn his name. <laughs> and yeah, they the have like so many hours to solve a paranormal it. mystery or something. I think yeah, is. it's it's different. That's for sure. <laughs> oh wait, I have it linked here. Yeah, let me read the description. Six agents of mystery who have excellent chemistry. If you know what I'm saying, Ooh. must mm-hmm. solve paranormal mysteries. Within six hours, relying on their quick thinking and teamwork. So I don't. It kind of sounds like it's going to be like the show we call we watch called Crime Scene. Yeah, like each episode, or maybe but it's every a little maybe every two episodes spooky. is like <laughs> solving one mystery. Mm-hmm. But it's a much more elaborate uh, set that they have, and it's yeah. maybe there's like secret passageways, and there's going to be like things jumping out i don't know it's gonna be it looks goofy <laughs> that even the trailer they have is not very long yeah yeah it's just like a teaser trailer yeah but it looked interesting enough to at least talk about one episode or whatever it comes out yeah. on june 18th <laughs> mm-hmm. and then i think the other most suggested show was my siblings romance yes yes which, which i think has recently finished 
or is about to finish. I think it's I think there's like one or two or three episodes left, but it's very deep in the season. It's mm-hmm. another transit love level length episode though, like two Okay. two over 2 hours per episode. So mm-hmm. we'll have to check it out. I don't know I don't want to commit to watching all of it. Right. Of my sibling well, romance. I think we'll, we'll have to treat it as a like a, see, a normal see what happens. We'll have to treat it like our old <laughs> format. We'll watch the beginning. Again, I think it's going to be a lot like Heart Signal except your sibling is there, and I don't know how that yeah. really affects the the game, other than we get to see like kind of a different dynamic of conversations, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'll check it out. Maybe we can do something. We might do something, maybe like we did with Love Catcher Bali. Like maybe we check out the beginning, and if we decide we want to watch it, we'll just like talk about the whole season all at once. Since I, by the time we get to around talking about it, the season will be over. Yeah, yeah. Unless people think it's, you know. You can send in your opinion. If it's like, no, we got to talk about the whole season, <laughs> yep, and or something, we can do that. But it's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> two, like over two hours an episode for sixty episodes is a lot. So I mean, if we did it, we'd be like pushing deep into the rest of the year, <laughs> depending yeah, on that. Yeah. Depending on what, what rate we go at. Right. But we're gonna be busy for a little while here. So yeah, his man season two. Yeah, that's what's next. That'll be interesting. I'm pumped. Yeah. Uh, where can people contact us, Sarah? People can email us at keepwatchingpod at gmail.com. Uh, leave a comment under the video on YouTube at keepwatchingpod. Or they can find us on Twitter, Instagram, threads for some reason, and TikTok, all at keepwatchingpod. Should we mention threads? I, like, I, I Probably like, not, but I feel, uh, are it's we, like, we look really lame for mentioning threads at all. I don't I, I like, think I think I, I think it was a mistake to have made the threads account. Nobody's on it. Uh, I like make but, it, but you then know, you just say you like at the end you just say and uh, and all other social. <laughs> and we're well, not actually I, well, on all I'm not of, on all other we're socials. We're not on them. We're so. on enough of them that we can say all other socials, right? Maybe. I don't know. If there's it's one the that the cool name. kids are on that I'm missing, let me know, guys, and then we'll get on that one. Um, and then, of course, like, as always, if you want to leave us a rating or review or your whole freaking tier list on the dateability of these people, you can leave <laughs> us a uh, rating or review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. You can also leave comments on Spotify. Yeah. I got to revamp this whole section of the podcast. It's got messy. Maybe. I'll figure or it out. Or just go back to what it was. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're, the, we're the same thing on everything, right? So. Yeah, I you mean, want to follow us on anything, just search for us for at us Keep Watching Pod. Like, yeah. If we're there, Keep you'll watching. find us. There if not, let us know we should be so there. So far, we haven't had to change our name depending on the No one sniped our name on another yeah, yeah. platform. Okay, cool. All right. We did it. Don't snipe our name on another platform. Be nice to us. <laughs> not to put that idea out into the universe. Anyway. All right. All right. Anything else? I think, I think, I think we done did it all. All right. Yeah. We're under two hours if we finish in the next two minutes. <laughs> should, we just, should we just wait? I mean, we're going to edit it. It'll be less than this anyway. Yeah, it'll be less than that anyway. All right, never mind. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. Bye.